Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a new season. We've got Buckhurst Way facing off against Chingford Harriers in Division 3 of the Essex Alliance League. Your referee today is Malcolm Pond. Just going off, just going over what he wants from the players today. Let's go over the two teams in question. Buckhurst Way, who did finish 7th last season in Division 3. They were the lowest scorers in the League 2 with only 30 goals, but the number 9 Tom Glatback and the number 13 Will Asenso will hopefully try and make that stat different for them this season. Their opposition, uh, their opposition Chingford Harriers, made a cup final last year, losing out to Flyers under 23s. The highlights of that game are on WD Sports if you would like to check that out. On penalties in devastating fashion after a goalless draw, but they kick us off today with what promises to be a season of excitement with these two sides and many other teams hoping to win some silverware. An early foul there by Will Asenso. Buckhurst way at home today. A few spectators just below the camera. Flicked here, ooh, not, to, not long towards Will Asenso. Good gathering by Lewis Griggs. Oh, and there's a mistake by Paul Scheuer. Cleared up by his brother in the end, Peter. Scheuer again. Nice move for Chingford Harriers. Shot from distance. Gathered though by Jake Suckling. Tom, send him out wide. Send him out wide. Teams after their pre-season will be looking to get three points on the board early on. We know with how the season goes, with postponements here and there, it's key to get points on the board and set yourself high up in the table. And here come Chingford Harriers now. Ball played in behind. And a lovely well-worked goal as well. It's Darnell Lamof to give Chingford Harriers the lead. As simple as you like. Worked it well with Andrew Bowering down the left wing. Burst into the box and picked out his teammate to have the simplest of tasks. They were queuing up to knock it in, Chingford Harriers. Here come the Harriers again. Just a bit too far of Daniel Taylor at the back post. Free kick, free kick now for the Harriers. Into the side netting. You could hear the response from the crowd there. They thought it was a bit closer than it was. Lamof again. Maybe disappointed there. Jake Suckling didn't make it didn't make it very convincing, just narrowly wide. Andrew Bowery now looks to be dictating the play, and there's another great through ball. Eventually cleared by Matthew Wright. The Harriers come again. Out for another corner. That first way with one of their own. Cleared that the near post by Paul Scheuer. Oh, the, it's knocked in. Referee's whistle did go. We all heard it very clearly. Harriers play, Harry play down, on the, down on the floor. Here come Buckhurst way now. Play run Mike, play run Mike. Robertson's strike just wide of the goal. He's come on off the bench for an injury, Zach Robertson. Another Buckhurst way corner. Drilled low this time. Maybe something they've worked on in pre-season. Doesn't come to anything in the end just before the break. And there is the break as Malcolm Pond blows his whistle. The two teams separated by a Darnell Lamothe goal. Created by Andrew Bowering, who has been very strong in this first half on that left wing, causing Buckhurst way a lot of problems. But nonetheless, Chingford Harriers won up at the break.
an entertaining game so far. A few spectators making their way onto the other side of the field as we get back underway. Joey Butcher on for Buckhurst way as well. There he is on the left wing, just with the number three on. And here come Buckhurst way again, trying to find half a yard of space. Miles Croxford can't do enough with it. Long throw in now for Buckhurst way. Oh, it's dying to be hit there. Good play by George Martin. Good feet by George Martin as well. And not a bad ball as well. And there it is turned in. George Martin making the space, making the cross, making the goal essentially. And it's bundled home. Trying to work out who scored it. I think it's off Zach Robertson in the end. He didn't know much about it. Had his back turned as well. But Buckhurst way have equalised just at the start of the second half. And here they come again now. Robertson just keeping it in play. It's Croxford. Strong appeals for handball, but Malcolm Pond isn't interested. Robertson really has started the second half well. And his ball played in behind now. Good save by Lewis Griggs. Buckhurst way really coming out strongly in this second half, having all the momentum. Right, under a lot of pressure. And he can't get it clear as well. It's turned in by Grant Coy off the bench. Two substitutes from either side making an impact. And all that Buckhurst way pressure undone in one moment. Matt Wright under pressure from Darnell Lamothe. He couldn't clear it off the line. And Chingford Harriers have re restored their lead. Coy wide of the post there. An hour played now, half an hour to go. Not long from Griggs. Good header on from Coy. And look who's found himself free. It's Bowring. Well, I said earlier on, he was making a real impact on this game. And I think that has just put the cherry on the cake for him. The icing on the cake, even if I can get my phrases right. Superb play by Andrew Bowering. Flicked on by Grant Coy. And he took it in his stride. Coming in off, off of the left wing. Getting himself in a position to cause havoc and finding the side netting of the goal. That is a wonderful finish. Go, Sammy! Go, Sammy! Harriers with a four on two situation now. Flicked into the back post. And they will not want to see that again. Tabo will not want to see that again. Here comes Bowering now. Bowering trying to do even more and Buckhurst Way just trying to get it clear. They just can't contain the number 24. There he is free again on the left. We'll see if it finds his way to him. It hasn't. And he just misses the target. Sean Lassell. Into the 90th minute now. Buckhurst Way trying to get anything from this game. Saved by Griggs. Not convincingly. Cleared by Daniel Taylor. Only as far as George Martin. That might be the last chance of the game for Buckhurst Way. They got one more free kick. One more throw of the dice. And cleared at the near post. That for a corner though. Croxford to take. Really into the deep bit of stoppage time now. I think this will just be the Harriers trying to just hang on. Keep us up to Martin. Clear the way. Malcolm Pond puts an end to proceedings. 
and Chingford Harriers win 3-1 on the opening day of the season away from home. It was a game decided by quality from the Chingford Harriers front line. And they come away victors as they go top of the league after match week one. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I do hope you have enjoyed this game. I certainly have with the quality on show. I've been Lewis Henderson and we'll see you next time.